How important is the Sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam? In Quran, Allah subhanahu wa taala says this in chapter three, verse thirty-one. Qul in kuntum tuhi bun Allah fatabiyuni yubikum Allah wa yadfirukum dunubukum. Wallahu wa furu rahim. And this is Allah. He's talking to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Cool. In kuntum tuhi bun Allah. He said, "Cool first to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Say to the people." Because the people are saying, "I love Allah." You hear what everybody said. You know, I love God. Who is famous for this? The Christians always saying, "I love God. God loves me. God loves you." Yeah. But look what Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is saying to our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Tell everybody this. Anybody who said they love God, tell them. If you really love Allah, follow me, Rasul. Follow Rasul. Follow Muhammad. Follow the Sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Thumma, then Allah subhanahu wa taala will love you. It says, then Allah will love you. When after you follow Muhammad, and then look what he said, and he will forgive. He'll forgive your sins. He'll forgive you. And then look what he said. He is the forgiver. He is the merciful. Allah the Fur Rahim. Subhanallah. Alhamdulillah. La ilaha illallah. Allah Akbar. I need Allah to love me. I don't need joking around. I need Allah to love me. I need Allah to forgive me and brothers and sisters in Islam. It ain't gonna happen unless, unless we follow Muhammad, his Sunnah, his way. Alhamdulillah. I encourage myself, myself, and all of us to. Spend more time to learn more about the real Sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, because in the Sunnah is farida, things which we do that we have to do. Don't just say it's not in Quran; I don't have to do that. That is not true. In Quran, Allah subhanahu wa taala also tells us something very big. Many times you see ati Allah wa ati Rasul. Yes, in Quran. Obey Allah and obey the Messenger of Allah. One ayah in Quran says, "Atiya Rasul." Huh? You didn't read it? Atiya Rasul. It starts this way: Obey the Messenger. Obey the Messenger. How do you obey the Messenger if you don't know Hadith? How? You're going to make it up. You're going to wait for a dream. And Prophet says, "I'm going to come in a dream to you and tell you what to do." Is that what you're waiting for? Huh? Come on, let's be realistic. We have the hadith preserved for us. We even know which ones are the highest, which ones are in the middle, and which ones stay away from. We know that because it's all collected, everything collected. But again, you go to the scholars. You have to know who to ask. You don't just trust anybody in the street. 